All right, today we're going to be talking about tables in Google Slides. We are going to create, design, show you a couple of things you can do with tables. And so today, to start off, we're going to show you how to insert a table. So you're going to go to Insert and scroll down to the word Table. Now, the fun thing about this is you can go by one by one to a two by two to a five by five, and you can continuously grow your table. Looks like you're maxing out at a 20 by 20. So you can do a 20 by 20 table. Uh, we'll start off a little bit smaller today. Uh, I'm looking at, let's go by a three by three just to do it there. All right, so it'll be a three by three table. Now the biggest biggest thing is, is your generic table setup to uh, use the settings on this table. Notice on your tools tab there, it transitions to a different setup, okay? So biggest thing is that people use, we got the shading of the outline. You can change the colors, you can change the thickness of the outline. You can change dash, solid, dotted, all the different things right here that you could want on your table. Um, you can also choose specific boxes or the whole table, and you can do shading in the background if you'd like that also. All you gotta do is click whatever you want to shade or drop the color in, and it shades it for you. You could do three boxes, you could do the whole table, you could do one box. All different kinds of options there. Um, also, two, if you're messing around, you can edit each box to be a specific font. You could do different fonts in each box. You can different do different size boxes or fonts in each box. You, there's a bunch of different things you can do to edit the box itself. Uh, text colors, te the fonts. Uh, you can even edit where the location is. You can do middle, left, right. You can just in the middle of the box. Um, you can also go through the app format options tab. And this gives you a bunch of different options for your table. You can select the size of the table. You can select the height and the width. You can do the scale. You can lock it out. You could even rotate the, uh, the table if you would like to rotate the table. Uh, another tool that you can use is positioning. Positioning in the top left, positioning in the center of your screen. You can also do your text fitting, however, all the different things that you want to do. If you want to move your text right or left, do special settings. You can do the padding where it changes where the location of it's at. Another thing you can do is alternate text. It, uh, that's a deep dive for later on down the road there. But um, you can do that. That's your format tab. You could also take your table and you can animate it. How it appears, how it disappears, you can change the motion, slide transition, if you want to change the transition. Lots of different things you can do. So the um, also, if you click on a table down here, you can do specific borders, outlines, whatever you're doing. You can select a certain one and you could actually change individual line colors, change individual things. Uh, the biggest thing I do use this for is to organize some stuff, to organize information, whether it's a spreadsheet, it's a different way to do a spreadsheet or, you know, different games you can create in here. Um, but organize information is a great tool for this. Um, and that's all I got for you today. Um, hopefully that helps out on creating um, your tables. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.